Welcome to your Go Market Update for today, Wednesday, the 28th of September 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here for your daily walk around what's happening in markets now. Let's just have a look at what's come across the news first of all. And we saw a mixed session on Wall Street. Uh, the S&P 500 posts its sixth day of losses. It was a mixed volatile session. All started very positively, but ultimately testing June lows on the S&P 500. The Nasdaq and the Russell closed mildly positive. US futures are, are now lower in Asian trading after a positive start. Seems to be a bit of selling of risk on assets. Asian indices have also slipped after a mixed open. The ASX is now down. It was up around about 0.3% at its high. It's now down 0.25%. Specific sectors are outperforming. Materials and utilities seem to be doing okay at this stage, but European futures are pointing to a near neutral open this afternoon, but that's a forever changing goalpost, particularly in light of the drop in the US futures. Now, the US dollar index has paused despite rising bond yields. It is up near a key level. The GB pound continues to be quite volatile after the last few days where it's been massively so, but there appears to be some significant bank coming into the yen this morning. Gold continues to test March 2020 lows, all testing year-to-date lows, and copper is holding only just 330 support. The VIX is around and about that key 30 level that we've discussed previously. Uh, Bitcoin gave up yesterday's gains during the US session and really has moved back towards that 1860 support. Uh, looks lower in Asia today again. And over the news wires later on today, we've got Aussie retail sales, German consumer confidence, US housing data, and possibly more importantly, or as importantly, speeches from the ECB and Fed Chair. They're due later on today, so Christine Lagarde and Jerome Powell will either calm markets or make them even more upset. The jury's out on what may happen. It is a busy couple of days subsequent to today, so we may be seeing a little bit of caution coming in because of that. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts of interest today. We referenced yen strength, and we're seeing that in the kiwi yen as you see here there's today's bar uh, drop through that 8840 level looks as though there might be a move down to 8070 on the cards and if we breach that then possibly even a breach of 80 is possible if this risk off attitude continues remember the yen is a flight to safety if we look at an hourly chart you can see that happened uh, earlier this morning we had that breach through and we'll get a little bit of a continuation at this stage so around about 30 pips to the next key level. Uh, and then obviously we've got around about 70 pips down to a round 80 cent level. On the ASX, you can see coal stocks are outperforming. We've got New Hope moving back over this 580 level, which it tested a couple of days ago with this big drop downwards towards this 521 level. Recovery session yesterday, they'll give up some of its gains. And we're getting a very similar looking candle today. As we said, it was looking very strong early on. Just pull back a little bit for right now, but we're eyeing that 6.30 level for evidence of trend continuation. We've seen similar in Whitehaven Coal and CRN also in that coal space. Merit's been patient for the right setups, and of course, this is still a high-risk market, which we can't stress enough. Trade safe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.